it is indeed. Welcome to the Totally Awesome Fishing Show. Still doing lockdown films. We've got a bit of a break in the fishing as much as we can go out fishing for the moment as I make this film. I've actually had one day's fishing. But listen, the jobs don't go away, do they? But I thought you people might be interested, some of you outdoors people, because you may have seen it on our fishing films when I've cooked over and used as a light a Swedish fire torch. What indeed is a Swedish fire torch, you ask yourself? You need to watch the film to find out, especially if you want to make one yourself.
Well, that's a Swedish fire torch. I mean, it's a bit of fun making them. And of course, they do light up on the beach pretty well. And you can cook on them. I've used it in some of our fishing fields. Check it out. One other job I had to do in the garage, I thought they look pretty ropey. I had a big pair of curved, I'm going to call them deer horns, but they're not. People did comment and say it's sable antelope. They're just antique ones I picked up at auction years ago. I think it was. I don't know, even know where they came from. I've had them years. They've got a nice shield to them. This is how I renovated it to make them look that much better. I was pleased to get those horns up really really nice in fact I don't know I think it's a sable antelope one of you guys out there's sure to know and then I made the mistake of putting my mum's butter knife underneath the saucepan on the G stove thought I'll warm it up to cut the butter no it doesn't work Graham if you forget it too long heat transmits along the shaft all the way down the blade into the shaft of the handle and it sets light to the handle my tackle shack was reeking of toxic fumes. I had to leave both doors open. But I thought I'm going to repair it, just because I wanted to repair it. I don't like throwing anything away. It's a nice piece of, I think it's Sheffield steel. Anyway, I used a piece of cherry wood that somebody gave me. They had cherry wood tree cut down on this property on this site. So said, do you want some of this, Graham? I said, absolutely. It's nice. It splits nicely. It's nice stuff to work with. So here is my renovation of good old mum's butter knife which I'm going to use for weeding. <laughs>
Well, listen, guys, I was pleased, really pleased with getting the butter knife done. I'm pleased with all my jobs. You know, when you get them done, it's a lot of satisfaction. So, all the jobs done, I go walking with the wife. We go off walking, and we're walking along in the countryside. I go, she says, oh, there's a bird's egg there. And I thought, well, that's strange. We walked past it, in fact, came back, but there's no tree. I couldn't see a tree that's come out of, so we actually went back. And I've got a still picture. I've got to put it here. Put a picture of it here. Does anybody know what this bird egg is? Now, I don't know the species. I know one man who does. Wayne knows about birds. He knows about birds' eggs for sure. One of you guys can comment on it as well. What is the shell? Now, did that bird hatch out of there or was it stolen by a magpie? Because magpies will eat other birds' eggs. Taken out, smashed open and eaten. You bird experts have got to tell me, because I don't know the difference between one that's been robbed and stolen from a nest and broken open by a magpie, or one that is hatched out naturally. Because I couldn't understand. There's no tree up there. Where's the nest? Can't work that one out. Anyway, guys, hope you've enjoyed that little bit of, well, distraction from the virus time, I'm going to call it. We'll see you guys next time. Let us know what you think this bird egg is. And hit the TA subscriptions on both sites, TA Fishing, TA Outdoors, do what you want with the likes, if you like it, like it, if you don't, don't worry, I'm not bothered, I'm gonna make the films for you anyway. We have so many good comments, it's unbelievable. See you guys next time, stay safe, and we're gonna find you a fishing one, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Mm -hmm.